Image to video technology is on the rise with industry leaders like Pika, Runway ML and Leonardo AI each unveiling their own version of the tool. The results are already impressive and they're only going to get better from here. However, the roadblock that I kept facing was trying to generate consistent images in an attempt to create a specific scene for a film or video. So with the help of ChatGPT and Runway ML, I now have a five step process in creating consistent and ultra realistic scenes in Runway ML, which will make creating AI films and video seamless. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through each of these steps with a live example. By the end of this guide, you'll have the knowledge and tools at your fingertips to craft your own AI video scenes with ease. So we're starting in ChatGPT, which I'm going to show you guys the prompt that I use. First of all, we have the scene. Could you provide me with individual detailed shot prompts for a scene involving police cars chasing a blue Porsche 911 in Miami using runway ML. And I've just got some must do's and must not do's there, guys. Don't worry, I'm gonna put this in the description below so you can just grab it. So here's the response and what it does, it actually provides me the first prompt for the first shot. And you can see there a high angle shot of a busy Miami street during the day. And it talks about the blue Porsche here. So let's grab that prompt and head on over to runway ML. So this is runway ML's website. We want to scroll down all the way down here, which is text to image. Let's click on that. So it takes you to this screen here. Okay. Now I'm going to explain step by step the settings on the right hand side, which you need to enter. So for the ratio, I just selected widescreen uh, resolution. I selected 2K. I don't believe this is available on all plans. So double check that. We want to go here for the style. Let's click on cinematic. Number of outputs is how many images are going to be generated. Let's go with four. Now I want to click on the top right here where it says advanced. So when you click that, it actually gives us additional settings, prompt weight, and also the seed. Now to explain the prompt weight in a nutshell, the lower the prompt, the lower the creativity with the image. Now seed is probably the most important part. Now what we want to do is select fixed. Now, what that means is when we generate each individual image, it will stay to that specific seed so that we let's get started. Assistant scene negative prompt. We'll just leave a blank for the time being. Let's head on down to prompt now and enter the prompt that chat GPT provided, which is the high angle shot. And let's generate that. All right. So it's generated the four images here and I'm impressed with the results. Now I left the prompt weight on 7.5. I want to increase that now to 15 and we can have a comparison now based on the two results. All right. So it's generated the images. Now for this example, you can see it hasn't really changed much. We're still getting four different types of results. You guys can see it's generating Porsche 911s and it's generating the blue color, but it's not really specific with the year, make or model. So I've actually gone back to chat GPT and what I've done is I've specified more information about the car. And what I've done is I've added the year make of the car and I've been more specific with the model by adding a GT3 RS. Let's see if we get more accurate results now. Okay, so here is the results for the first image. Now we're getting more consistency now of the actual Porsche. We're, we're getting a more specific version of the Porsche 911. So I'm happy with the results. Now, whilst that image was generating, what I did is I went back and I increased the prompt weight to 20 and 25. And I want to show you the results. This is 20. You can see there it's starting to get a bit skewed. So it didn't like that prompt weight. And then I went to 25 and it didn't like it even further. Now, what I believe is going on is that there's not many images of a 2023 Porsche 911. That's why when you increase the weight, you're not getting the right results. Let's go back. Let's go to 10 and a 7.5 weight and let's just see what results we get. This is prompt weight 10, which is much better than 15. And when I scroll up, this is 7.5. Now I'm glad I was able to demonstrate this as an example because it illustrates that you will need to enter a specific prompt weight depending on what scene you're trying to enter. Sometimes higher weights might be good. So you guys got to play around with it, okay? Now let's go back to ChatGPT. Let's get the rest of the prompts and then we can move on to the next step. All right, so we go here, we click next. It automatically provides the second prompt. So this one's actually a close-up shot. I'm going to stay at a 7.5 prompt weight. All right, so here are the results. So same car, same city, same color, 
but really it's just a different angle. So now we have two shots. We have a close up shot and then we also have a dynamic street level view. So let's go to the next shot. So the next shot's actually an aerial view. So let's see how that turns out. All right, so this is the first result of the aerial view. I'm not necessarily happy with the results. Let's increase the prompt weight and let's see what results we get. Okay, so these are the results for 10, which I'm not happy with. And these are the results for 15 as well, which I'm not happy with. That's okay. Let's go back to ChatGPT. Let's ask it for similar sort of view, but we'll try it again. So I just wrote the result did not come out well. Can you provide another prompt example for Arial? And I actually screenshotted the actual uh, prompt so that it can actually see what was generated. All right, so it's provided me a new prompt. Let's go back, let's give it a try and we'll see which one comes out good. All right, we didn't get the best results, but we're just gonna go with this one for now, just so that I can show you the rest of the scenes and show you the rest of the steps. All right, next prompt, which is shot number four. Let's enter it, let's get the shot. So this shot's actually a street camera perspective. I'm just gonna go with this one and look how clean it is. Like you got your police on the left ear and cops like everywhere trying to stop it. So we'll go with that one. Let's get one more shot. All right, and here's the last shot. Beautiful results. Okay, so now out of all five shots, I want you to save the five that you like and we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so I've saved the five images. Now we need to move on to the next step, which is the image to video step, which is free runway ML. And we're gonna use ChatGPT as well to assist us. And I'm gonna show you how. So you can either click here or you can go down here, image to video. So I'll just click here. So this is what it looks like when you first set it up. First thing I want you to do is I want you to click down here where it says fix seed between generations. Let's click that. And we're gonna select from the assets, okay? So I'm gonna go here. Let's start off with the first image, which is the dynamic street view. Let's double click on that. So now we've got that uploaded. Now at the bottom here, you can see camera motion, motion brush, and we can also see the intensity of the general motion. Let's leave that for a second. Let's click over here where it says image plus description. Now let's head on back to ChatGPT and I'll show you the next stage. All right, so I've gone back to ChatGPT. I've actually uploaded the photo that I saved from Runway ML. And here's the prompt also will be saved in the description. Here's an image generated from Runaway ML based on the following prompt that you provided. So I'm scrolling back to the top here where the prompt was initially provided. Copy that and paste it here in the prompt. Then at the bottom, it just says, can you provide a detailed text description, how the scene should move, detailed how the parts image. Anyway, you get the point. Let's press enter. All right, so now it's actually provided us a description of how it's gonna move. Camera pans quickly with the Porsche as it weaves through traffic. Palm tree sway, sunlight flares dynamically, and the car wheels spin rapidly to emphasize speed. So let's copy that, go back to runway ML. Let's paste it here, okay? Now, before we click generate, I'm gonna generate all three anyway to give you an example. Let's go with five. So I'll do all, I'll do three, five, seven, and then I'll do 10, okay? So while that's generating, guys, I guess probably the main thing I just wanted to explain is that I'm not manually controlling any of the camera motion. You can, it's not obviously, you don't have to do this step, but it's really just to show you what ChatGPT can do to sort of add some sort of benefit. And the same thing goes to the motion brush. You can control it manually if you're comfortable. Uh, I'm getting kind of good at this, but I'm not perfect, but I just wanna see what it can do based on the instructions we provided it. All right, so I've actually gone to ChatGPT and got the description for the rest of the images as well, and I've generated everything. Like I said, I went from prompt three all the way to 10, and I've done four prompts for each one. So now we can determine which is the best level settings for the prompt. All right, this one's first. So if we click here, it says reveal prompt. This is three. So very, very nice, very smooth. The car is moving. Let's go to number five. Yep, not bad as well. I'm happy with that result. You can see the cars moving beautifully with the sun in the background. Uh, this is seven. So seven's a little bit more extreme. The car's moving more. Uh, let's have a look at number 10. Yeah, and, the, and number 10 gets a bit crazy now and you can see the background is moving too much. All right, for the first shot, we're actually gonna go with um, prompt number five. Okay, which is the second one. So I'm happy with that one. This is the second set of images. So this is number three, which is okay. It's a little bit slow. Number five, bit better. You know what, looking back now, this image probably wasn't the right image. This is number seven. 
And then this is number 10. Okay, I'm actually going to go with uh, number seven. Okay, I'm, I'm look, I'm not, look, I'll be honest. It's probably the photo that I use, but I'm going to go with number seven. All right, the aerial shots. <laughs> All right, these ones are interesting. Have a look at what happened at the aerial shots. So this is number three. The uh, cars are actually moving backwards, which is funny, but... There's a way you can fix this and I'll show you. Good thing is all the cars are moving at the same time. I like that. This is number five. Uh, the cars are all sort of moving together. Number seven, I'm not really happy with because you can see the cars are sort of changing. So I don't expect number 10 to be better. Yeah, number 10 is just too much. I'm going to go with number five and I'll show you what to do to fix that. Okay, so this is the fourth shot. So this is number three. Okay, it's a bit like, you know what? Even looking back now, the image that we use kind of didn't really make sense because you got the police on the left. You got cars behind it. This is number three. Let's see what number five looks like. <laughs> Yeah, number five is no better. There's just some random car that keeps poking out to the side. Let's see if seven's any good. Ah, uh, can we get away with that? I don't know. At least it's a bit better. It's moving. I don't know. Let's see what number 10 looks like. Oh, uh, I'm just going to go with number seven. And here's the last shot. And I, you know what? I really like this image. So let's see how the results came out. Number three. Not bad. I love how the clouds are moving. I like that. I reckon it could be better. Ooh, number five is very nice. Number seven isn't too bad as well. Oh, but it got into a car accident. What the hell? Yeah, it did. Oh my God. You know, look, I didn't want that to happen, but that's still pretty cool. What does number 10 do? All right, number 10 just sort of... um skews out at the end there so yeah i'm not too sure what happened there i'm gonna go with number five though all right so now we have all of our videos so let's save this and let's go to your video editing software and i'll show you how to put them all together all right so i've gone to my video editing software and i've essentially put all of the images next to each other and you can see there they're sort of going together as a good scene this image here, like I said before, it was moving backwards. You just want to right click and click reverse. There's a way you can do it on your video, video editing software. But now when I click play, you can see the cars are going the other way. So <laughs> just a quick, that's just a, an easy tip. But yeah, this is the fourth image. Get creative guys like you can add obviously porsche 911 sound effects you can add uh the police siren so that's how you can create a scene in runway ml using the same object in this instance it was a blue porsche 911 and it's that easy and i'm sure this is going to get better now i just want to quickly talk about the pricing now i've got the unlimited $76 for unlimited video generations. So I've actually got the $95 monthly plan unlimited video generation. I got this just so that I could test it and I could demonstrate to you guys how this is done. To be quite honest, once I start getting more comfortable uh, and I expect to do maybe one AI film a month, I, I, I would say probably the, the pro plan, which is $35, which is still a bit expensive. Um, but, you know, this is the, the start of the technology. So I'm sure it will get cheaper as we progress. So I hope this tutorial was helpful, guys. I would love to see some of your generations. So send them to me on Twitter and I'll showcase them. If there's also anything that you guys could provide with helping the step-by-step -step process, comment down below. Let me know if there's something that I could be doing better on. But that's it, guys. I'll leave it for the next one. Peace.